Hi friends, how are you doing today? Today we will be doing something with the round brush. I'm going to use round brush today. And of course we will be using flat brush for the leaves. And we will be doing a daisy today. And one more brush is this um, zero size Camlin um, for some detailing. This is 3 by 4 for cut as usual and a round brush I don't know what brand this is I just picked it up from some shop a long time ago and I just checked the bristles they were soft and short this is the short ones no, um, the, uh, for one stroke daisies and uh, round brush strokes in one stroke painting if your bristles are a little bit shorter it's like more easy to control your brush instead of buying the long ones like see for the example this is see longer compared to this so just don't go after the brand see what kind of bristles you need so this is good very good for doing some round strokes uh, what colors I will be using this is school bus yellow I'll take a little bit of yellow here then we'll take white so we will be loading our brush with round brush with white and yellow for the uh, petals this will be for the leaf i'm taking green for cut and a little bit of brown for the center this is steady bear brown so you get all these colors in camlin also so you can go for Camlin too if you don't have for cut and if you're using uh, um, leaves for leaves if you're using flat brush uh, you can use the ten size 10 of Camlin that works good for the sub as a substitute for the round brush first of all we will be doing the center of our brush uh, of our daisy with the round brush itself I'll take a little bit of yellow and today we are not going to do a composition we are just going to see this stroke maybe by in our next class we will be doing the composition so I'll take a little bit of oval it's not actually round I'll make a oval shape in center and don't draw it this way just dab your brush it gives a better look also here we will see like three flowers and leaves you get a better idea about this flower okay anyways we are going to come again once the flower uh, is totally painted we will just come again on the center so just for an idea to move about we will make the centers okay how will be uh, loading your brush for one through what we'll do is i'll dip my brush in yellow this way nicely i load my round brush with yellow sorry i'm saying yellow it's white and i'll take yellow in the corner okay and I'll choose the center press and release 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 don't turn your page just again load the same way white and yellow release press and 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 release no need to repeat with me or like me okay so you see you get this fine lines in the center as you usually get a normal daisy don't worry about these corners we will be filling it the caps will be filling again I'm loading my brush you can see one more time from the center press and release press and release press and release load your brush don't keep your brush dry or you won't get the proper strokes and always pick yellow don't forget to pick the yellow color white and yellow 
press and release, press and release. Release is pulling the brush along with the release. As the, when you press, you make this stroke, and as you as you release, you uh, like as you are pulling it, you just release the pressure. It's not that you can make only the fat ones. You can even make a thin one. Either you change the brush, take a thinner brush, or you just give um, a little pressure. This way, press and release. 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 You see, you get the thinner stroke. Press and release. Bring all your petals towards the center. This way, press and release, press and release, press and release, press and release, release, press and release, and press and release. So these are some thinner petals you can do. Keep your hands free. Don't think much. Practice and you will get the stroke right. And after all, this is decorative painting, so you don't have to worry a lot. It should look beautiful. That's what I want. So this again I'm going to dab the yellow in the center when we will be covering the edges of the petals nicely here also I don't want the edges to be shown so it cover the edges this way okay Then we will pick a little bit of brown, brown color, little bit of brown color and I will come this way, to give that 3D look in the center to the center part of the flower, you see it looks quite realistic now this way also you can go pick your um, brush and make tiny dots of yellow here towards the leaf end of the leaf it looks nice you can make uh, with the black also this way Then what else you can do is go and paint your leaf. Daisy leaf is a little bit different. I'm picking up green, picking up green, a little bit of white and a little bit of this brown and I'll load my brush. This way. Okay, just load it well. Okay, the daisy leaves, how they look is sharp and have pointed edges, long and pointed edges. So, the side, just make some pointed edges. How you get pointed edges? If you keep your brush straight, you get pointed edges. Make the line. One more time. Yes. Yeah. Take green, brown, little bit of white, little bit of yellow and see keep your brush straight and you get the pointed edges finish I already done the tutorial on painting the leaf you can go and check that to get a better idea of how you can move for the leaf stroke Okay, one more leaf I will paint, 
big this way pointed leaves overlay a little bit of your flower and you just finish this so here's your very simple daisy with the down, round brush and uh, we can also in our uh, other tutorials I'll show you how we can paint easy with the flat brush smaller size of flat brush and that's it I hope this tutorial is helpful for you you practice this and also watch my other tutorials and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned and we'll learn many more things together bye